Governor Josh Stein issued a state of emergency ahead of Hurricane Aaron's impact on the North Carolina coast. This is new video tonight as Hurricane Aaron remains in the Atlantic. The video captured by satellite shows lightning flashes around Aaron's cloud covered eye as it passed near the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos just last night. But what impacts are we going to see here at home on our coast? We have team coverage for you tonight. CBS 17's Baron James is on Topsail Island with the current conditions. And Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein is in studio with the update just in from the National Hurricane Center. Wes. Yeah, let's get right to it. You know, over the last 24 hours, the storm has weakened. But tonight, it is still a Category 2 hurricane. So winds have held. They did not change from the previous advisory. 105 miles per hour sustained, meaning it's still a Category too. They're gusting up to 125 and a turn that happened earlier in the day that continues tonight now moving north northwest. It was moving early this morning just northwest. So it's not a big change, but these little change will eventually add up to keep this storm still off our coastline. Now to the satellite view. It no longer has that round symmetrical look because dry air has infiltrated from the west, helping to weaken this system. Now the eye and the core are remain strong enough to fend off that dry air and there is some reintensification possible, but all of this good news for North Carolina and the coast. The latest track didn't change in some spots, other spots it moved just a little bit to the east. Right now, from Thursday morning early on to Thursday afternoon, it will pass east of our coastline as a Category 2 hurricane with 110 mile per hour winds, the center being about 250 miles off our coastline, and I'm measuring from Cape Lookout. Now, I'll take all the writing away, and I want to drop in a white line that you can't see in some that is the previous forecast track. The red line is the current track, and you can see in some places it didn't change. In other places, we had a little bit of a shift. But when a track doesn't move, that's a win for us because as the storm approaches, we are still expecting impacts only along the coast and really just the Outer Banks. Nothing happening here. And even though the storm is centered 650 miles away, a live look at the Outer Banks, they're already starting to see water over their roads. Now back here at home, we've got clouds and an August afternoon with temperatures in the 70s. Plus, we've got a cold front on the way here. I'll show you that in the 10-day coming up in 15 minutes. Wes, thank you.